Welcome back everyone to our episode 2 of Heralds of Hispania. Our goal for this episode is to get out of our deficit and start eating away at our debt. Our deficit currently is at 16.3k, but I'm pretty confident by the end of this episode we should get ourselves into a position of having a positive income. Um, I think the way we're going to address this issue is by focusing on construction goods such as iron and wood. And I think over time we'll see that it will eat away at that deficit. So we'll go ahead and queue up some iron mines. Uh, take a look here, iron mines. I think we'll throw some more in Castile. They just have so many job seekers. We'll throw some in Castile, we'll throw some in Valencia, Aragon, and I think that should be good for now. Currently working on some tooling workshops and some logging camps, those can also help. So with that, we'll go ahead and unpause. Take a look at our journal. We have urbanized Spain. We're going to get that over time and establish a university. Did we build? I thought we did build that university last episode in Castile. Did. What is the requirements for this? Let's see. Establish university. Oh, level two. That is unfortunate. Maybe we can try to build a university and beat the clock in that amount of time. Take a look at how long that's gonna take to build. If we were to stick this up at the top, 20 weeks, that is four. Ooh, we can sneak that in maybe just in time to get that journal event ch uh, checked off. So we'll try to sneak that in real quick. We're still enacting the dedicated police force. It's in ascent, we got desperate allies. Awesome, right off the bat, plus 20% enactment success, uh, success chance. Papal states doing papal things, looking to unify the Italians. You know, the Italians love a good unification. Um, taking a look at the market. I feel like a lot of this game is like staring at this market, and, but you know what? I freaking love it. Uh, we have no export possibilities for sugar. Let's take a look at some of our other high positive things to maybe get some more income. Uh, fruit, no available options. Um, what else? Would anyone like to buy our tobacco? No. Huh. Interesting. So Melia, Melia still has a standard of living problem. Uh, it seems like they're slowly hiring for this logging camp. So I think once they get hired up, that should solve that issue. Now I wonder if it's because they don't have enough qualifications to occupy this. So logging camps, logging camp in Malia recently failed to hire employees. We'll not try again. Hmm. I wonder if it's wages. No, it shouldn't be wages. We're also gonna switch this to soy enriched farming. Increase the productivity of that wheat there. And I want to make sure real quick with our buildings that all of our livestock ranches are doing increased wool gathering. No. Oh, but if we did that, then we would tank the price of fertilizer and we don't want to do that. We also had another event. Oh, awesome. We managed to squeeze in that university just in time. So we finished the journal event. So higher learning society should be ruled by philosopher Kings plus 25% university building throughput. Spain gets more progress towards empiricism. I... Academics... I kind of want to do society should be ruled by philosopher kings, so I think we're going to roll with that. And let's take a look at a journal, see what else... Uh, this one we're gonna fail atmospheric engine we have five years to do that maintain subjects we need some more subjects and I think maybe going into North Africa maybe getting mascara Morocco as puppets instead of actually vassalize or conquesting him could fulfill that so that's something we could look to in the future 
Uh, but first, first and foremost, we really do have to address this deficit. Uh, I think we're almost out of the hole here. And it's slowly starting to balance out. Take a look at our world rankings. Netherlands is still ahead of us, but just barely, I believe. I think a lot of it's coming from their standard of living, giving them their prestige. And we have dedicated police force. Awesome. So we'll take a look back at our laws, see what we want to change here. Um, we might want to get National Guard, although that's not looking too popular. Who doesn't like that? Intelligentsia and the petite bourgeoisie. Can't do any human right changes. Tenant farmer, land invade. We could go to per capita, and this would actually get us out of that hole. We only have an 8% chance of passing this, and landowners oppose this. If we look at our political situation landowners still have 38 percent clout but i think the fact that we went to dedicated police force they're going to start losing that clout slowly um but we also have i think a lot of people in agriculture so i think over time as we build these iron mines and get some more industries up we'll see a decline in that political party if we were to reform it we could actually go, it would make us an illegitimate government. We'd have the industrialists and intelligentsia. If we were to go to illegitimate, it's plus 50% enactment chance. I think what we do is we bolster. We don't have enough authority. Hmm. We also got a defensive pact with Portugal. We will accept that. Will Portugal want to come to our customs union? No, not yet. It's minus 64. They would want to form an alliance. I think we'll do that. How likely? Still not yet. We want to slowly try to influence them to go into our customs union. Um... How is our construction cube? Iron mines are coming up. And take a look at our market. The price of iron is slowly stabilizing. Price of clothing is also pretty high. I do want to kind of sneak in a couple clothing manufacturers where the standard of living is a little bit lower to give some people some industrial jobs. And I think Asturias is a great candidate for this place because if we look at the local price of clothes, yes, it's 42 there. So I think that would be a big boom for that state if we were to add some textile mills. So we will do so. And I think we do go for... If we were to switch the government, we could do... I'm just really torn because I really want to switch in the industrialists and armed forces intelligentsia, get the landowners out of power, suppress them so we can pass this land-based taxation into per capita taxation. Or we could just kind of take the shot. Hard decision. It only has 8% pass rate. You know what? I think we're going to reform. And then we are going to suppress the landowners. Made a call. I'm sticking to it. Paper is expensive in the Spanish market. Do we have any? Oh, also, I want to give a big shout out to, I think it, one of, I forgot who commented. It was user RT4TS. He said that you can add, press the plus to the technology to add it to the queue. I had no idea you could do that. So that's pretty helpful. Um, what do we want to do next? Slower the speed here. I think... Maybe 
Food industries, no. Mechanized workshops, plus 10 economy of scale. But we need to get crystal glass canneries. Nitroglycerin. I think we actually go for water boiler tubes. So we'll add water boiler tubes. I think we want to go into society and we grab pharmaceuticals because I want to get canine so we can start uh, settling s southern and uh, the lower eastern or excuse me, western half of Africa. We also have an event here, Monument to the Queen. More prestige. I think we go with... I think we go for it. We'll put up a queen in honor, or a monument in honor of the queen. More industrialist approval. Um, I think that's fine. We'll go with the second choice there. Um, sorry, I get I got sidetracked. So, Kanin. What does pharmaceuticals grant us? Plus one max health systems. We don't even have health systems yet, but it does give us access to those two laws. How long would this take? Three years. I just don't know if that's worth it right now, just because we just need to boom our economy so much. Maybe it's something we address once we get water boilers. Iron mines are finishing up. Uh, how is coal looking? Coal is fine. Uh, grain is expensive still. If we were to switch all of the rural wheat farms to soil enriched, we'd make 151 more grain and also 1.91 thousand more. So we'll do that. We'll look at some of these livestocks and we'll switch over some of these over to increased wool gathering lower the fertilizer costs got one there we'll do this here navara as well we'll see what that does to our economy iron is still expensive really We'll just keep plotting down some more iron mines. I think the name of the game at the beginning is just throw down a whole bunch of iron mines as well as logging camps. And that really adds a big boom to your economy. Throw one there, throw one there. Do we have a coal mine here? Oh, this state, Navarra, also has a Basque iron mine. So iron mines here have a 20% throughput. So I think actually what we wanna do, we've been building in Castile. It might be a better idea to go into Asturias and Navarra and focusing our mine production or iron production there because of that increased 20% production. So we'll go ahead and focus that. We'll take off the Castile. We'll take off the Navarra for right now. And we'll add, or no, excuse me. We want Navarra, we want Asturias. And we'll plop down like two more there. Standard living is slowly going up. We're at 9.4 now, and GDP is at 13.2 uh, million. Literacy is also increasing. Well, who has the lowest literacy? Castile. We did build those two universities. Um, we're oh, perfect. We have a contested government now. We could switch over to, we have a 24% success chance. Awesome, we'll take per capita taxation now. And I think we'll solve all of our woes from last episode, just in time. Um, let's see how the world is developing. Great Britain is still number one. Um, France two, Russia three, US four, Austria five, Prussia six. We're slowly catching up to Prussia's GDP. And we've already surpassed Russia's standard of living. Go figure. Just kidding. And then how's this colony going along? 
That dye plantation is very productive. How is the cost of dye? I think that's pretty balanced right now. Grain is starting to get expensive. We might want to start making some fertilizer plants. Um, actually, we won't do so until we exhaust these cattle farms, switching them over to increased wool produ production. We'll go ahead and switch this guy. And I think we just did that, actually. I think they are now all... No, we got one more. And we'll switch that over. And now they are all at are all using uh, wool production. Awesome. Where is our fertilizer demand? It's, pr it's balanced right now, but if we were to increase some of our grain production, <clears throat> pardon me. Soil enriched, these are all soil enriched. Soil enriched. Okay, all of the grain is, or wheat farms are soil enriched. We have to start switching over some of the rice farms. And I think it's time to start taking a look at maybe producing some, yep, definitely. We gotta start producing some fertilizer industries. So we'll take a look at that. What do they require? So fertilizer requires iron and sulfur. So ideally we wanna choose a state that has iron and sulfur available. And I think Western Andalusia is probably our best candidate. Um, and it does seem that way. So we will put the fertilizer production in Western Andalusia, just so we can capitalize on lower local prices for sulfur and for iron. So we'll plop down a fertilizer plant over into Western Andalusia. Now it's saying that paper is expensive in the market. Do we have, did we unlock sulfur pressing yet? We did. So in reality, what we need to do is we unlocked percussion caps, very good, and per capita taxation is now in consideration. We'll build a couple, probably three sulfur mines in Western Andalusia. We'll put these up a couple. Let's see, leverage their support, yes, nice, plus 20% success enactment chance. Very good, I'm fairly certain we're going to beat this before this becomes a bigger issue. I think we just industrialized a little too fast, maybe switching over to iron frames earlier on could have been um, done a little bit later, but... Nonetheless, essentially whenever you're at a deficit though, you're investing that money into your economy. And I did get a pretty rapid boom by doing so. So I think once we get this balanced out, it's gonna pay for itself. It's gonna pay for itself. Clothes prices are high. Oh, fertilizer. Yep, yeah, we're building that fertilizer plant. We might actually wanna stick this up higher in the queue maybe after these two and we also got railways awesome this is going to be a huge technology that really gives a bigger boom to our economy um, creating more needs more steel more coal all the things that pump up that gdp so now we're working on water uh two boilers and we could go ahead and start thinking about what we want to queue up after that Nitroglycerin could be a great option for increased production at those coal mines. And it's very tempting. Food industries. What are what is the demand for food in our market currently? It's not really existent. But is it a case of one of those things that you create it and you 
create the need or the demand. Take a look back at technology. I think canneries could be good. Canneries lead to mechanized workshops, which I think would be huge for us, especially for the textile mills that help solve the clothing issue. So I do think we go for canneries next. Um, let's take a look down here, see if there's any other colonies we could do. We could do crew. What kind of goods do they have here? Bananas, coffee. I think this is also another great... Oh, they also have iron mines and logging camps. What does the population look like here? 143k. Uh, we could... Can we settle... We're currently colonizing this. Traza. What goods do you have? Not much. I do think we go for colonizing crew. Taxation is theft. Promise short-term tax cuts. That's what we'll do. Oh man, the deficit. We really need this law to pass. It's going into ascent. I think... I wonder if being in a trade agreement with France is actually hurting our economy. Because I think a lot of this demand is being generated by France buying our goods. We could import some grain. No, we cannot. I think we lack the authority to do so. Let's see. Right now I'm just getting rid of all these negative trade routes just because I think it is hurting our bottom line. Inefficient agriculture. We get more uh, migration attraction, Toledo does. What just happened to that event? Ooh, this is another tough one. Uh, minus 10% success chance. I think we roll the dice on this. Hunt down the bandit. Let's make sure all the goods, all our construction goods, we are protecting for... Trade. So we're going to take a look at the iron. We are protecting this. Yes, plus 15% on export. Protect domestic supply. We're also going to do the same for wood. We're going to do the same for wheat. And we'll take a look at our buildings and seeing, okay, this military shipyard is still not very productive. I think if we grow the navy, that would increase the demand for this and make this a more productive building. That could be a very short-term solution to help the economy over in this state. But it would increase our government expenditure. Food industries, everything looks good there and productive. Livestock ranches, what is expensive? Fertilizers, if we were to add butchering, that would be a worse solution. Oh, we really got the clock ticking against us. 
I really need this law to pass. And iron is still an issue. We build these two sulfur mines. Maybe... Well, we're going to need those sulfur mines for the fertilization plant. So we'll build one sulfur mine, go to iron, two irons, and then one sulfur. I think that's a good cue for that. Iron and paper is expensive. And then we could also do the sulfite pressing and that will solve the paper issue. So I think sulfur and iron will solve our issues now. Could build an iron mine here. I think, oh, this is an isolated colony. We would need to build a port first. And I think we'll have to wait on, wait out on that. Standard living's almost at 10. It's at 9.7 now. GDP is still rising pretty fast. Awesome. Just like that, our biggest issue is solved. Now we are in the positive, baby. Here we go. Oh, I felt the time really running down on me there. So that's good news. So now we're positive 5.7k. Biggest solution of the episode has been solved. And so I, now I think we just go ahead and eat away at our debt, which is standing at 5.35 million. <laughs> But that's fine. We're going to boom like you've never seen a Spanish economy boom. And we will surely be in the positive. If not by the end of this episode. Actually, it'll probably be episode three when we get back in the green. We got crystal glass. I think we take a look at some of our buildings and see what ways we can change. Uh, we do what's our luxury furniture demand not that high we have a high furniture demand um, textile mills could go to dye workshops that makes more clothes increases dye demands I think that's a good thing this will rapidly radically increase dye sulfur we do know about this input shortage we're solving it shortly um, I think we have our dye farm down here in this colony. Yes, we do. So we'll expand the dye here. And then we'll switch over some more of those clothing manufacturers and lower the cost of those clothes. In turn, increasing our standard of living for our population. Uh, let's, we should also take a look at our laws and see what we want to change for our government now. State religion. I think that's fine. Laissez-faire, no one wants that right now. Mercantilism, free trade, that's unpopular. Uh, charity hospitals, we have that, that's good. Oh, let's take a look at our institutions. Could go for faster colonialization. And increasing our law enforcement. We would have to build more, what are they called? I believe they're called what is it? Government? Yeah, government administration buildings. We'd have to build more of those. And I think some of our places are kind of close to being at their tax limit. So it could be good timing. We'll build a couple of those. One, build one there. How much are we short by for sulfur? Okay, yeah, so building that one sulfur mine, I think, should solve a lot of those issues. The demand will grow as we are fulfilling the needs. So that value right there isn't really true. That's one thing to keep in mind because they can't... This fertilizer plant isn't demanding what it actually would. Because there's none in the market in the first place. We got empiricism... Take a look at our technologies. Empiricism is a society technology. What did that give us? Total separation, state atheism, public schools. That is something that very much interests me. Educating our people. However, my people are not interested in it. 
Right of assembly, nope. That's unpopular as well. Poor laws could be something that helps our impoverished of our state. Yeah, I think once we get that fertilizer plant online, that'll be another big boom to our economy. Providing great jobs for people. There we go. So for mine is online. We'll switch this over to atmospheric pumps. And we will also... We don't want to do rail yet. So where is our coal at? Because I think now we start switching our iron mines to all having atmospheric pumps. But to do so... We're going to need to expand our coal industry. Because if, how many buildings are not using? A lot of them are not. If we were just to switch this, we'll do that. Okay, that's where coal starts getting expensive. There's also six mines there though. We could maybe do it in Galatia. I think that's a wise move there. Aragon is having, oh no, there's, they solved that. I think we're gonna have to start worrying about infrastructure here shortly too, but we'll go ahead and put down some iron mine, or coal mines, pardon me. We'll stick some in Navara. We'll stick some in Asturia, Castile. I think that should suffice for now. Go to our construction queue. Do we really need those other sulfur mines? And I think the answer is no. Oh no, that's right. We need to switch over this to sulfur pressing or sulfite pulping. Perfect. Lowering the cost of paper. Now our paper cost is almost nothing. And sulfur, I think once we get the second sulfur mine online, then that should be balanced out. So I want to cancel the sec or the uh, third sulfur mine. We'll get dye plantations so we can increase our clothing. And then those two government, yeah, that looks good. Two government administrations, and then coal mines in Navarra, Asturias, and Castile. Good deal. Awesome. Now everything suddenly looks hopeful. Market access at Puerto Rico is at 96%. We might need to build a port there. Doing so... We might need to switch these guys to crude tools. Would be more productive. And I think we're going to do that. We'd have less tools being made, but it makes the building more productive. They can hire more people and in turn create more tools. Let's take a look at how our colonies are growing. Spanish guineas growing pretty well. We do want to, once we get those administration buildings, I think we want to, well, increasing education would be a good idea. And I think we're gonna do that. This would cost, does it say how much it costs? Is it 130? Per investment level? Yep. So we need to build a few of those government administration buildings. Some things to think about there. Isolated colony. We'll go ahead and queue a port over here. Oh, they have turmoil. We will actually... I wonder if that turmoil is because... Why, why is there turmoil? State construction. Uh, radical pops. Interesting. I wonder if it's because I didn't build a port soon enough. And I think the answer is yes. 
We'll finish this. All right, we unlocked, uh, I think it was water boiler tubes. We sure did. We're going to canneries. I think after canneries, we will queue mechanized workshops. So now that we have water boiler tubes, it make less laborers, but in reality, we want more laborers because we want less peasants. This is something that I think is better late game because when you start running out of pops, that's when you put in those adjustments to the industries who have less workers. I may be wrong, and if I am, just let me know. But I think in general, it's not a good move if you have the laborers available because then it lowers the standard of living. Sulfur mine's finishing up. Perfect. Could do a condensed engine pump. Oh. Whoa. Can we do that for our coal and iron now? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to collect that. We sure can. So a lot more coal. We'll take all of our coal buildings. Switch them to condensed engine pumps. And then we'll switch some of these over into atmospheric pumps. And I'm just checking to make sure that the price of coal doesn't outweigh the price of iron when I'm, whenever I'm switching from picks and shovels to atmospheric engines. And I think we kind of hit a good balance there. And our balance, our balance is suggesting we hit a good balance. Brazil's improving relations. Oh, we have a lot of diplomacy where we could be improving relations. Let's take a look. I think we'll improve with Mexico. We'll improve with... Do we want to improve with the Ottomans? Prussia? No. Netherlands, no, Belgium, improve with Belgium. We did drop in our overall rank and I think a lot of that comes from prestige. And I think if we build up our military, that will address that. And I think we start with building up our Navy because if I remember correctly, Spain's navy is just atrocious to start with, and yes it is. So we could go here, add some men of wars. We'll build them in Western Andalusia. Build two of those, and then we'll build a light ship as well in Western Andalusia. We could actually bring some of those to the top. I typically like to produce these buildings just because it only takes like five weeks. I'll knock a couple out, but we also have to remember we want to prioritize that port as well for that radicalism. Slowly, slowly eating away. I think we've eaten about a million of our principal down, which is good. I'm almost tempted to build another construction sector because we have such a great positive balance now. Maybe we hold off until we get about 2 million left in principle and we'll build another construction sector. We also want to build a port over in Puerto Rico. The market access there is pretty poor. Looks good, and we're at 15 million now. We are slowly dropping in our world ranking. Our GDP, however, is becoming very competitive with leading nations. 
standard of living as well, or standard of living isn't quite up to par with Austria, United States, France. But I think as we continue to industrialize, that will be solved. I think also that building military buildings increases your prestige, if I'm not mistaken. Raising concerns. What do we got here? Uh, petite bourgeoisie can suck it. Good laws. No home affairs. National Guard. Who opposes this? Intelligentsia. That will really piss them off. No social security. Migration controls. We could do no migration controls. Who would that upset? A lot of people. Mercantilism. We want to go towards free trade, I believe. Could ban slavery as well. Who would this... Oh, I don't think that's worth it right now. We are suppressing the landowners, and they have their clout has dropped to 26.3, and I think we started the episode with them being at around 38% clout. Who has the lowest standard of living? What regions? Badajoz is definitely a region we want to address and uplift. What goods do you have that we need? Seems like wheat is taken care of. Yep, we're in a surplus of wheat. That's good. Lower cost of wheat means the lower strata has lower cost of paying for food. So it increases their standard of living. Silk is also expensive in the Spanish market. I will increase a silk farm there. One habit I kind of have bad in this game is there's always just so many facets to the economy that I go around and queue too many things before thinking too many things that need to get done before they can actually get done. What do we got here? Engine shortage. Interesting. I don't know how we have an engine demand. Private industry probably built a railroad, actually, now that I think about it. So, I think we will build our first motor company. Who has... So, Puerto Rico has, like, no... I think we'll do it in Toledo. Not enough qualified, not enough qualified. I think that'll be fixed once it gets going. Yeah, I don't know if that tooltip is actually true. Valencia has enough that's qualifying. Valencia Motor Company. I mean, it's got the iron, it's got coal. Could build some, build some uh, engines. We could try maybe Aragon. I think Aragon is actually where I want to build my motor company. But with that, we'll leave on a cliffhanger and end the episode and we'll solve this issue in the next episode. Thanks for joining.